Hi everyone, welcome to um, a new episode of the podcast. Um, today I thought we would talk about one of my very um, favourite topics which is uh, food. I really love food, it's something that I'm quite passionate about. Um, I enjoy cooking, I enjoy cooking when I have the time. Um, I really enjoy eating out um, as well. I love um, the food here where I live in Spain. I think um, everybody knows that Spanish food is some of the best in the world. And yeah, I can definitely, definitely agree with that. I, I really do love um, the food that we, we eat here. Um, so obviously one of the most obvious questions that people ask um, when they talk about food is, do you have a favorite food? Do I have a favorite food? Um, I don't think I do. I think I really um, vary. I don't like too much of anything, to be honest. I like to have a big variety of the different types of food. Um, <clears throat> I think I eat quite seasonally. So something like melon, I really eat a lot of that in the summer, plums, peaches those types of fruits and then maybe in the winter I will eat more oranges um that kind of thing they tend to to be really really good here during the winter months um in terms of a favorite meal again I'm not sure that I have a favorite meal I really like to try different things um some something like pasta is uh, is something that I do like I like spaghetti bolognese and simply pasta with good tomato sauce or something like that um but a favorite food I'm not sure or favorite meal sorry I'm not sure that I actually have um, a favorite meal either again it really depends because the seasons um, vary so much here in the winter believe it or not it can be quite chilly here and so um, you feel like eating slightly heavier foods um, here it's quite common to eat pulses something like chickpeas beans lentils um, in a type of stew that can be really comforting during the winter months. And then in the summer, if you have temperatures of 30 degrees and more, that kind of thing isn't what you what you fancy, right, during the, the summer months. So we will eat things like salads more. Of course, the famous gazpacho. That's, um, that's actually very simple to make. It's, it's basically tomatoes, onion, cucumber, uh, garlic olive oil I forget it's been a little while since I made it but I, I remember it's actually very easy to make and very refreshing um, and so some people think it's strange to have a cold soup but trust me when it's 35 degrees <laughs> there's nothing much better than a, a refreshing glass of gazpacho from the fridge um, so uh, if I um, if I have to say there's one thing that I don't like, I definitely don't hate anything, but there's a couple of things that I'm not keen on. Um, perhaps peas. I have never really eaten peas, even as a child. Um, it wasn't the kind of vegetable that I that I enjoyed eating. Uh, so, um, yeah, I ate most things. I, I ate most things. I was quite a good eater as a child but but peas were one of the few things that I didn't eat and I'm still like that I wouldn't choose to put a spoonful of peas on my plate I will eat them if they are mixed in with other things I would definitely never sit there and pick out every individual pea that is not the way that I am but if um if if, if they're mixed in with something else no problem I will eat them um in terms of meal times um I think it's fair to say that we eat quite differently now than we did when we were living in the UK we've really adapted to most of the Spanish meal times specifically lunchtime which is the main meal of the day here so that's when you eat your your biggest meal your heaviest meal um, the children finish school at two. I think that's quite general around Spain, as far as I'm aware. And they come home and we eat together and we eat our main meal. Um, contrary to the popular belief, most people, in my experience, don't have a siesta after lunch. Maybe it's more common in the summer. Uh, but yeah, there's usually so many things to do. There's not time for that. But the meal time is more or less um, mid-afternoon. And... Uh, and so then uh, we probably have 
dinner, I think we have, usually we have dinner about eight o'clock, which I think is a little bit earlier than many Spanish families. It definitely is early in the summer months. It's not unusual to see families eating at 11, 12 o'clock at night during the summer. We can't eat, well, me personally, I cannot eat that late. Um, it's just a little bit too late for me, but around eight o'clock is fine. And what we eat for dinner, um, again, varies throughout the year. Uh, in the winter, that will probably something be something warming, like a soup, um, but still quite light. And then in the summer, things like salads and that kind of thing, something really light and nothing, nothing that's very heavy at all because of the heat. Um, so yeah, I think that's basically the the main things about about my my diet. Um, I don't think um, that I have any specific um, dietary needs. Um, nobody in my family does, so we tend to just eat most things. Um, uh, a good variety, I think. Uh, oh, one more question that people often ask me is if I miss any food from the UK. Um, I would have to say no. <laughs> um, I think there's a bit of a stereotype around what British food is, you know, like fish and chips, roast beef. But I don't think that's, you know, that's a stereotype. It's not real. It's not what most people eat every day. I would say that British food is a big uh, variety of different types of cuisine, right? I think the most popular British dish or the favorite British dish, I think, is curry. Um, Indian cuisine is very popular, Chinese food, but there's also a growing market for things like Mexican food, Japanese food, Thai food. It's really, really um, multicultural um, in terms of its food. So I definitely think that there's plenty of uh, plenty of options there. So I'm not sure that there's one thing that you can say that you miss. If I had to choose something, it would probably be something connected to the seasons or to the specific times of year. So around Easter, we eat something called hot cross buns. Um, basically, they're like a fruit bun or a fruit bread with like a, a cross Um it's, uh, it's origins, if I'm not mistaken, it's connected to Easter, the crucifixion of Christ. Um, but they're just a very, very nice sweet fruit bun. Um, and yeah, you can't get those here. There's not, they do have their own traditional Easter foods here and they're also really good. But hot cross buns maybe is something that I, I miss. And maybe a couple of things connected around Christmas time. That kind of thing. But in general, not really. There's, these days you can get everything that you, that you want. Um, if you can't get it from the local supermarket, there's probably a bigger supermarket that will offer um, the types of foods that are more associated with the UK, for example, Heinz beans, some sauces, Worcestershire sauce, that kind of thing. You can get that in most places now. Um, and even Gibraltar is just over an hour away. So if there's anything that you really, really want, you can get it and you can order things on the internet. So the world is much more, it's a much more globalized place. And in terms of food, there's no need to, to miss anything. But to be honest, there's not really anything that I, that I can say that I miss. But well, so tell me, tell me about you. What about you? Do you have a, do you have a favorite food? Is there anything that you, that you hate or something that maybe you're not keen on? Like me, I don't hate peas. I'm not keen on them. And uh, what type of food do people eat where, where you live? Please tell me. Thanks again for listening. Take care. Bye.